Hi, today we are going to be solving uh, exponential equations. Uh, when it comes to solving exponential equations, what I like to ask myself is, um, can I easily fix it uh, so both the left side and the right side are written in terms of, of the same base? So let's go ahead and look at fun problem number one. Well, it just says fun problem. So the directions read solve each equation give answers in exact form and then round all irrational solutions to four decimal places okay so let me go ahead and rewrite the first problem because uh, this font is a little bit too small for my eyes so then um, the, what I'm gonna ask myself is this what kind of equation is this same speech as I get that uh, same speech that I give myself every time that I solve an equation is it a linear quadratic radical rational so forth so in this case we notice that we have a variable in the numerator so this means that uh, we have an exponential equation and for the exponential equations uh, coming to the top is uh, what we want to ask ourselves is this can we easily fix it so the bases are the same the base on the left is 3 the base on the right is 81 3 is a prime number so I'm going to ask myself can I easily fix it so, so, so we work in terms of base 3 and the answer should be yes because last time I checked um, 81 is a power of 3 I think it's a 3 to the 4th power so to answer that question, can we easily fix it so the bases are the same? For this problem, we can. So let's aim for base 3. The left side is already a winner. It's already written in terms of base 3. 81, if we keep our cool, I think that's a 3 to the 4th power. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and apply the property of exponential equations. So remember from back in the day, the property of exponential equations states that if the bases are equal, then there's no way around it. The power should be equal. So let's go ahead and set the left exponent equal to the right exponent. And then you look at your new equation and solve it however you can. In this case, it's a plain no linear equation or degree one equation. So let's old, old school it. Let's go ahead and have variables on one side, constants on the other. We take our time. We subtract one from both sides. That will leave us with 2x equals 3. For the grand finale, we isolate the variable. To get rid of the times 2, we divide both sides by 2. And that will give us x equals 3 halves. Uh, the question is, can we write it as a decimal? Yeah, it's a personal choice. But I, I myself um, prefer to leave it in fraction form. All right, for the grand finale, we have another equation. Problem B reads 3 raised to the 2x plus 1 equals 8. Let me address the elephant in the room. As you can see, I have a little bandit. It's okay. Things happen. Okay, coming to our problem. We have an exponential equation, so um, it would be nice if we can easily fix it so the bases are the same. Uh, the base on the left side is 3. La last time I checked, 3 is a prime number, so it's either going to be base 3 or bust. 8 is not a power of 3, so it is not going to happen. So in this case, unfortunately, unlike problem 8, we cannot easily fix it so the bases are the same. So what do we do when that happens? So if in this case, since we cannot easily fix it so the bases are the same, then there's no way around it. We're going to have to take the logarithm of each side of the equation. We can take the logarithm, base, whatever your heart desires. Um, I, I feel like taking the logarithm base 3 because I have a 3 here. I also feel like taking maybe like, hmm, why don't we just take logarithms base 8 instead. It, both are great choices, but here's the, here's the thing. Okay, so I'm going to bust out my calculator, and then our calculator has a logarithm base 10, logarithm base E. On this screen, I don't see logarithm base of whatever my heart desires. So I'm, on, I'm only going to use one of these two unless I figure out where that hidden button is. So we're going to go ahead and take logarithm, how about 10? That, that's pretty good. So let's take logarithm base 10 of the left side. And then we'll take logarithm base 10 of the right side, okay? And in this case, we are going to go ahead and use the power rule for logarithms to bring down that exponent. So that will leave us with 2x plus 1 times the leftover logarithm times logarithm of 3 equals logarithm 8. And it's really up to you how you want to continue solving this equation. For me, I'm a big fan of clearing the grouping symbol, so let's go ahead and do this. So when we do, when we distribute log 3 times 2x, 
will leave us just with log 3 uh, times 2x. Uh, I forgot the 3. Log 3 times 1 will just give us log 3 times 1 or log 3. Let me go ahead and insert the raised dot because um, the lowercase l with tired eyes can quickly look like, in, like the number 1. And let's go ahead and finish this equation. Although this equation looks uh, pretty intense, uh, bear in mind that this is still a degree 1 equation. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and isolate the variable term. So if you're not with the variable term, you got to go. Let's go ahead and subtract uh, log 3 from both sides. And when we do, that will leave us with 2x times log 3 is equal to log 8 minus log 3 okay sorry this table is very shaky today i don't know why okay so to finish it off to get rid of the times 2 we're gonna go ahead divide both sides by 2 to get rid of the times log 3 we're gonna go ahead divide both sides by log 3 all together to get rid of the times 2 log 3 let's go ahead divide both sides by 2 log 3 quotient of 2 in itself gives us 1 or we say it cancels Quotient of log 3 in itself gives us 1, or we say it cancels, and that will leave us with x is equal to exactly log 8 minus log 3 over 2 log 3. Now, uh, depending on how you uh, approach this problem, uh, we make it a slightly different um I lie. We're not going to get a slightly different answer. We're all going to get the same answer, but it may be uh, it may look a little bit different. If you took logarithm base 3, then it's going to look a little bit different. But if we punch it into our calculator, we should get the same answer. If you took logarithm base 8, um, uh, same speech. Oh, you saw my band-aid. Okay? So um, this is the exact answer or its equivalent, but then the directions also they want us to have a sense of what this value is. So let's go ahead and uh, use our calculator to uh, find the approximation to, to, uh, to four decimal places. First, I'm going to show you uh, the wrong answer, which sounds kind of weird, but this is a popular mistake. The popular mistake is that students just write it as is. So we have log, uh, log of 8 minus log of 3. And then there's a fraction bar, so we hit divide by 2 and then multiply it by log 3. So the way I entered it uh, right here is wrong for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, in the numerator, uh, the, we're going to take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. The numerator reads log 8 minus log 3, so we're supposed to uh, divide the difference by 2 log 3. But according to how I punched it in, the only thing being divided by uh, some effort of 2 log 3 is just log 3. So we're going to have to wrap up the numerator and we're also going to have to wrap up the denominator. Okay, so we have where am I? Log 8 minus log 3. Okay, so we're going to close the argument and then we're going to close the numerator, divide that by, let's go ahead and open the numerator and that will give us 2 log 3. Close the argument, close the denominator. I think I said numerator by mistake. And let's go ahead and enter it. We take our time, round it to four decimal places, and I believe that should give us about x equals 0 0.4464. And that wraps up these set of exercises. Thanks, guys.